So I want to call this what are we are made of. I want to go over um, a couple questions here. So how would you build a tall building? Let's say a building is like our agency, right? Or it has to do with income level. So if you had only 10 minutes, how would you build it? Let's say you had a bunch of blocks right here. Okay, and the goal was to build it as high as possible. How would you build it? But let's say you only had 10 minutes though. Not by yourself. Not by yourself, you need a team, right? That's a good point. But if you only had 10 minutes and the goal was just to get as high as possible, you would probably build it like this. Right? You don't have time, so you want to build it high, so you just build it as fast as possible. You just stack one against the other. But let's say you were given an infinite amount of time. How would you build it? Stronger foundation. Okay. So if you were given more time, which in life we do, we don't have like a time limit of when we have to accomplish things by, and then you'll build it this way. Make sense? Okay, so let's compare these two. Which way are we building our agency? Number two, Number two because if you look at this way, how stable is this? It's gonna collapse, and you know what, what, the one thing about this business that we've seen over and over again, that storms do come. Okay, so when the storms come, this almost looks pretty flimsy to me. Okay, and also, how tall can you build this? Not that tall, right? Because it gets more and more unstable. Whereas this one, you could keep building, will go, go wider on the foundation and kind of keep going higher and higher and higher. A lot of people's careers also are kind of like this, where they kind of build it up, build it up, build it up, and then they just kind of like start all over again. They're just trying to get the quick money or trying to get, reach success as fast as possible. A lot of times people take shortcuts or businesses take shortcuts, and that's how businesses fall because their foundation isn't strong. So I just want to let you guys know that this way does take longer time, but what we're doing here is brick by brick. New systems that we're building, new teammates, new procedures, new teammate. Okay, one by one, slowly by slowly, we're working hard, showing up, and building the bricks every single month. So what about you guys? So are you building yourself every day? Okay, one another thing I want to talk about is, are you focused on your own building? So let's say you have your building and someone else's building, right? And you, some people just are obsessed with other people's buildings. And this happens to celebrities or musicians or, you know, superstar athletes where people just want to tear other people's building down. Or sometimes in sales organizations too. They're always thinking like, ah, oh, that person's doing this, that person's doing They're always trying to tear the other person's building down. Instead, they're not trying to build theirs up. You know, people that you know, go on the comments and like, they're trying to hate on people and stuff like that for someone that's famous. It's like, wow, why are you so obsessed with that celebrity's building? You know, it's like they're trying to spit at them, but the spit's falling down on them because their building is so high. It's like, what about your building? You know, so it's a really important factor here is that we want to be the type of group that encourages other people's buildings to go higher too. Be an inspiration, like, wow, that person's building is so high. That means I could build mine up too. Really focusing on our own building instead of trying to tear other people down. A lot of organizations like that where the competitiveness is not, not trying to improve myself, but let me try to hurt somebody else. Is that something we don't want to have here? And then, are you persistent and patient enough? It takes a long time to build buildings. It really takes a long time, and there's going to be storms. And one thing that we're doing is we're not letting the storms destroy us. We're going to keep being patient and building it up. And um, Question I have for you guys is, what happens when you continue to build yourself up? You get stronger and stronger. Thank you, Spady. You know, every day showing up, you know, even though it doesn't look like uh, you're building anything, every day you continue to getting yourself stronger. You're building persistency. When something difficult comes, you're not running the other way. You're building patience. You're understanding that things don't happen overnight. And one thing that I'll tell you guys what happens is that if you continue to show up and continue to build, you meet a completely different version of yourself. Like someone that you don't even recognize from before. Laura, when she first started here, she was telling about us in one of the book reviews with Team CEO 11 years ago. She started off, what, what were you doing? Trying to organize all the paperwork for policies. <laughs> <laughs> Physical paper. Oh, like actual application. 
Yeah, put them in like alphabetical order or like they, they were sold and stuff like 11 years ago. And then just even last year this time, she was a top sales agent just focusing on her sales. And last week I saw her doing the sales meeting and when she was saying, hey, you gotta believe in yourself, your worth, value your time. I was like, who is she? <laughs> it's, this is like a completely different person. And that's what you'll notice will happen to you. I just mentioned it with Espady, you know, from seven years ago. You look back and you're like, who was that person? Like, you're, you're totally somebody totally different. And that's what happens when you don't run away from your problems. You challenge them and you, you keep building that foundation wider and wider. And I'll just tell you from personal experience too, like, I, I, I don't even recognize myself either. Like, in high school, like, I was the shyest kid. I went the whole four years without saying one word in class. <laughs> you know, I used to get nervous when people were like, you know, they're going down the roll and they're like, you have to say here. It's like, oh, <laughs> I'm like, shit, my name's about to come. That's how shy I was. And now, you know, next month I'm going to go to this conference speaking in front of 1,000 agents and trying to motivate you guys so I know, like, I have to get up here and talk to you guys. So um, you just change and I just want you guys to meet that person. Because there's another newer version of you too. And some people will go their whole lives without meeting that next version of themselves. Because every time something happens and they're just, let me just run away from that. And that's why they end up staying at the same exact spot where they're born from, same exact friends that they've always had. And they always end up hanging out at the same places. Because they're not changing and putting themselves into a difficult situation to prove themselves that they could be persistent and go up to challenges. So I want you guys to meet that new version of yourself. Because at, at the end of our lives, let's say this is your potential. I don't want to be understanding like, wow, I could have been here. Like my parents, all our parents too, all our parents made the sacrifice for us to have this opportunity here. And just by being born here, we have so much potential. At the end of my life, I don't want to be like, man, I fell short. I could have done more. I could have been a better parent. I could have done more for my staff. I could have, you know, I could have been the person I was supposed to become. And I don't want to have that feeling. I actually want to say, wow, I actually exceeded my expectations or my potential and became somebody I didn't even think I could become. So I want you guys to go through the pain of the struggle, you know, on the other side of temporary pain or the struggles that we go through. There's a different version of you guys. Okay, and I want you guys to meet that person. And to become that person, you know, it's not going to be easy. It's going to be tough, you know. I mean, just you name it. I mean, you guys have gone through some shit, and you may be going through some shit right now, too. But, you know, for me personally, like, you know, just or our agency, audits, you know, non-renewals, suspensions, you know, terminations, quitters, um, losing hundreds of thousands of dollars last month. You know, I lost a lot of money, too. But, um, you know, when I completely feel overwhelmed, I just tell myself, that I'm built for this. All right, so it could get overwhelming, but sometimes you have to remind yourself, you know, um, to say different ways, I am built for this. Well, I am built for this right here. Like this is what's happening, what I'm going through right now, I'm built for this. And the problems and the, all the challenges are like overwhelming you, like just overwhelming you. Just, I just try to remind myself, well, like I, I, I'm not gonna get small here. I'm a force too. Like all the problems that's overwhelming, I'm gonna overwhelm my problems by taking massive action. So um, I want you guys to just go through your challenges too and overwhelm your challenges. Get stronger than your challenges because I know whenever it gets tough again, it's like, okay, here we go. Whenever it gets challenging, I'm not gonna try to hide or run away from the challenge. I'm gonna, okay, here we go again. This is another opportunity to find out what I'm made of and this is an opportunity for me to find out what I'm gonna become now. And I want you guys to remind yourself too, okay? Remind yourself that you are built for this. If you guys are in this room, there's three things I could tell about you guys, okay? You're a hard worker. If you guys are in this room, you got a hard worker because if you weren't, then you wouldn't be here. These are the three principles that our agency is about. So many people have heard our principles and either they're not here because they don't want to be or we don't want them to be here. It's because our values didn't align. Okay, so if you're here, you're a hard worker, you're a nice, kind person. I've seen in the chat, a bunch of hearts, <laughs> you know, <laughs> all the time. Uh, we, we try our best with our clients. You know, that's what I believe in. 
So obviously, if you guys are here, then you guys believe in being a nice, kind person and taking care of customers and being good teammates. Many people have come through here and our, our values did online and they're working at other places that don't believe in the same things that we do here. And what's the third thing that we be, believe in? We're hardworking, we're kind, and? Positivity. We're good. Positivity. Okay. Yeah, next time you know the sales are down or you're having a tough time with somebody or this, this is happening or something's not working out, just tell yourself, I am built for this. Okay, just tell yourself, next call I'm get, hey, I'm, I'm built for this, I could do this. Like, you know, different job duty, like, hey, I could do this, I'm built for this. I, I put in so much work, I, my foundation is so strong, I could do this. And I just want to let you guys know, last month, you know, it was a long eight months for us, really long eight months. Those are some difficult eight months, these last eight months. And yeah, I just want to thank you guys for reminding me how bad of a team we are. We're a bad team. We, ha we have a tremendous amount of force in here. We have dig ourselves up from a difficult place. We still have some work to do, but to get to 500K, that's a huge deal for me because I said that's our goal, and for us to do it in February, I just really want to thank you guys. You know, obstacles after obstacles, we keep showing up. And I'll, our foundation is so strong. Like, anything that could happen in this business that's been thrown to us, like, we responded. And, um, you know, let's continue to show up for each other brick by brick, become a company that nobody could fuck with. And so I just want to thank you guys for reminding me that we are built for this. All right, thank you. Thank you.